Myra Tinajero and Jim Holly with Race Day Live presented by Amsoil. This is the official post race show coming at you from round 16 at MetLife Stadium. Now, Jim, what a wild night. Let's start with the 250 class. Yeah, can you believe it? Malcolm Stewart, he did what he had to do here. He's going into Las Vegas at East West Shootout next weekend, May 7th, Las Vegas, Nevada with a 14 point lead. That's a lot more breathing room than he had coming in here with five Aaron Plessinger finishing off. Had a bad start, didn't get up into the podium there, but how about second place, Martin Davalos? I thought for sure Martin was gonna get another win, his third, but Malcolm Stewart was just on tonight. He won his heat race, he was happy, he was into the crowd all night. He looked fast all day. And Jeremy Martin, a little bit of a bad start, but finishing up third, not bad, lost a lot of points, but it was a maximum point gaining night for Malcolm Stewart. He couldn't have done it any better. Absolutely, it had to be a pretty good relief for him knowing that Plessinger unfortunately ended up kind of back in the pack, was never really able to come back through there. So yep, he did widen that points uh, gap that he had there. And you know what, good for Martin. Um, another podium for him, so he's on a good one this year. I think we're going to see good things from him in Vegas as well. And obviously, Jeremy Martin, I mean, he rode really well as well, coming back from kind of mid-pack, uh, bad kind of bad start. Uh, so it was great for, to see him on the podium too. And I just can't wait for that East-West shootout. You know, we're going to see the guys, uh, the top three guys, and I'm talking Webb and Savachi and Oh, and yeah, when Christian those guys Craig, get mixed up, it's going to be wild. They haven't raced all year, obviously, because they've been on the separate coast, so it's going to be awesome for the fans and everyone to actually get Get them to go see get to see them go head to head how about that 450 did you ever see a flawless ride from kenny roxon i mean kenny roxon looked like he was just it was a magical night for him he was on fire and you know what he said it last week he was feeling one with the bike and obviously you could see that um bond with the bike tonight the way he rode it he was just unstoppable yeah, you know, and we talked to him, you know, back-to-back -back wins for him. Now he's got five on this season for Kenny Roxon. I think he can get a six win next weekend in Vegas. He's carrying a lot of momentum when they hit the outdoors. But the man who finished up in that second, Eli Tomac, another second for him. He rode good. He had to come through. He had to pass Reed. He had to pass Brayton. He had to pass a lot of guys to get up in that he second. He had his work cut out for him, but he nailed it. He did, and Cole Seeley, uh, Cole Seeley finishing up third. That was a great ride for Cole Seeley because he had pressure from the man who finished up fourth and he wins his third championship in that 450. Ryan Dungey gets it done here tonight in MetLife Stadium with that fourth, wraps up the championship and what a great win for him and KTM. You know, I, I kind of asked him off camera, I said, hey, are you a little bummed out? You don't got that streak alive now. You finished off the podium. The first time that Ryan Dungey has finished off the podium here, round 16, but he got the championship done and that's what he wanted to do. He did seal that deal on the championship. And you know what? Props to Cole Seeley. He had to handle so much pressure coming from the champion and he rode so well straight through the finish and held on for that third place position. But don't think that that 450 is not gonna be interesting as we head into uh, Vegas now because now the championship's clinched. You know, Kenny Roxon, all these other guys who are getting bad starts and I'm talking about the, uh, you know, the Lobo, Jason Anderson, Trey Kennard, all these guys, Trey Kennard still looking for his first podium of this year and a first win. Obviously, uh, Jason Anderson wants to get a third win, so they only got one more shot. That's next weekend in Las Vegas, May 7th. Make sure you tune in for that. Race Day Live will start 12.50 on that West Coast. We'll see you guys.